When was the last time you got a great deal? Seriously, let's sit, think about it. When was the last time that you're just like, I got a great deal and you wanted to tell the whole entire world of how great of a deal you got? You basically got to steal, did everything except for steal it yourself. Okay. So when was the last time that you got a really great deal? And then you had this, maybe a couple of weeks went by, maybe a month went by, maybe half the year. Are you still in that romantic stage of having such a great deal? Or did it just kind of waste away? So that thought kind of came into my head and I was like, that's what I should do for this episode of Ask Audrey. And I really want to talk about discounts. Because usually when you're doing a great deal, it's because a discount or a sale was involved. And then plus with the holidays coming up with us in the States, we have um, Thanksgiving. And the day after Thanksgiving, we have what's called Black Friday, where I will be truthful. A lot of the stores mark their stuff up that they're trying to get out of their warehouse so they can get new stuff in. And then they show that, hey, it's really a sale. It's really a discount. And it was basically like maybe $5 over the original price last week. So, (laughs) and that's what they do. And everyone's like, deal. I'm like, dude, you could have probably got it cheaper last week. Or if you wait a week, you might even get even cheaper. Um, because everyone is always looking for a great deal. And the same thing happens in your tutoring business. So if you're here watching it live, go ahead, hashtag live. If you're watching the replay, hit hashtag replay because it helps with the algorithm. So, and if you have a comment, put it in. Because if this sounds familiar to you, please put it in. Like I know one time I had a great deal on a pair of shoes. This is back in the day when um, Payless was around because that's the only place I could have gotten shoes with my lovely size 12 feet. Um, So there was like a great deal. And then plus they were closing. And I mean, like I went in whole ham, like shoes, shoes, shoes. And I still have all of them. But now... A lot of them are, you know, the elements kind of got to them or I haven't worn them that often. And the value of the shoe has now decreased. It's not as like, oh my God, I got such a great deal. I got all these shoes for literally $20. Like this is insane. But now some of them I can't use anymore. Half of them are falling apart. Um, Some of them, the soles are like (laughs) non-existent. So it's kind of like, well, I got a great deal, but that deal didn't last. And then right away, I was thinking about like my tutoring business because everyone's always looking for a great deal. Seriously, let's take, let's be real for a second. Every time there's a new platform, there's a new uh, way to edit videos. There's a new, that chat GPT, anything. You go and where do you go on their website? Let's be real. You go to the pricing and you're like, okay, what can I get for free? (laughs) Is it just, I just want to sample it. I just want to see what it looks like. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, this is great. And like in show fashion, a newer thing comes and they're like, oh, wait, that's better. Now the thing that you were so excited about, it doesn't have much value to anymore. So you just kind of push it to the side. The same thing happens with your tutoring business. Every time I try to give a discount, friends and family especially, I always get busted every time. No, actually not every time. There was a couple of times I had like a really cool kid and it worked out great. But there are some times that you always give and then what happens? They want the champagne level of services, but they want to pay like low budget discounted prices. And you're like, so is it the price or is it the value? And that's one thing that we have to really address because when people are looking for a discount right away, I feel like you don't value my time or my attention. You don't believe that I'm going to bring 
what your child needs in order to get past this barrier so they can excel. I don't want to have your child with me forever. Like this is almost like, I want to say a school year. If it lasts a little bit longer than that, that's great. But I'm really focusing on like a school year. Let me see how I can help you out. But a lot of people don't really understand or really value what you're about to do. So right away, they want to say, well, I need a discount. My favorite was, oh, I have four kids, so I'm going to need a discount. I didn't say for you to have four kids. Was I there? No. So why is that my problem? <laughs> it's like, that's what you want to say. But I don't. But I really want to say that. But it just seems like, you know, a lot of people will find other excuses or other reasons to see if they can get a discount. But at the same time, they want top end quality service. It's not. It's not calculating. OK, that math is not mathing. OK, so there's times that you literally have to when you start any kind of business, be it tutoring, be it, you know, a goat farm, whatever. You have to understand that, yes, we as teachers, we want to give back to our communities. Everyone does. But you can't give back from an empty cup. Let me say that again. So the cup is basically your business, everything that's being poured into it. You're getting all positive reactions. You're helping a lot of kids. They're starting to be advocates for you and they're being ambassadors to your business and you're building, you're building, you're building. But you can't help people when you have an empty cup. How are you gonna pay your bills? How are you going to like, because every time you give a discount, that's less money that's coming from your goals that you set for yourself for your business. So that's less money that's going to be spent on the essentials, your security, your sanctuary. That's not going to be there. So where's that money going to come from? So when you have your pricing, that's your pricing. And I know in your gut, you're like, but I don't want to lose this client. Trust me. You do not want the aggravation because if they're ready to devalue you from the very beginning, they're going to devalue you throughout the whole experience and you are going to be kicking yourself. So it's nice to give something a discount once in a while, only when your cup runneth over. You're able to pay all your bills. You're able to put money aside for the taxes. You're able to um, have a percent to put into a savings account. And then whatever's left over, if that amount is growing, that's when you can do like scholarships. So maybe there might be a student that you really want to help and you can reach out and say, hey, you know what? I got a person that's over here. I got a person that's over there. They're paying me extra. So enough for you to get covered for a tutoring service for like a free month or for a free semester or even a free year. You can only do that when your cup is runneth over. And that was the hardest thing for me to understand my first year of tutoring. Because all I wanted to do is to satisfy and appease those kids that didn't have the opportunities because I saw them in my classroom each and every single solitary day. They were struggling. They didn't have anything to eat. Their clothes were dirty. And we always had to figure out a way to get the washing machine and put the clothes in and get them something to wear while they're waiting for it to dry and blah, blah, blah. And everyone was saying, well, that happens in the United States. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I know kids who lived in their car. I know kids that lived in trailer parks not too long ago. I know kids that were homeless. I know kids that used to work Kids, meaning teenagers that work construction overnight, you know, when they're doing the road crew. Yeah. And as soon as he was done with the road crew, he would come because he looked older. That's why they hired him. And he would come straight from work to school. And of course, he would have math first period, seeing my lovely face. But he was tired. He was smart, but he was tired. And we had a discussion. I said, all right, this is the deal. I just need for you to do this work and then you can pass out and chill. Really? I'm like, yes. Seriously? 
If you ask me one more time, I'm not going to do it. Okay. <laughs> but that's what I did. And he passed my grade. He passed my class with an A. But when it comes down to hold these discounts and devaluing, it, you have to know who you are. You have to know what you're trying to become. So when someone comes in and says, oh, I need to, your, your price is too high. One option, and I'm not talking about those people that are doing group rates. That's completely different. Like group rates, that's fine. So that was usually my solution. If you can't handle my one-to-one -one price, well, maybe there's a, a person, maybe your um, daughter or son has a friend in the same class that's struggling. We can do a pairing. And then my cost will go down here. And they're like, ooh, okay. And I'm like, but you have to find the pairing, not me. And they're like, well, I don't know his friends like that. I'm like, it's not about you. Ask your son. Have your son or have your daughter ask to see if anybody wants to split on a tutoring session. I actually had one of those last year. I had three girls. And it worked out pretty good. And they were able to pay at a certain price. I was able to get my asking plus. So it was a win-win situation. But no matter what, sit down. Really take a look at your economic background of your community. Really take a look at what your competitors are charging. Really take a look at who are you. Being a certified teacher does matter. I don't care what anybody else says. It does matter. Because not only can you teach them that content, but you can say, all right, well, this is where the next step is. And you can show them a small example of what the next step is. And that is pure gold. So when it comes to any kind of business, know your worth. Do not devalue yourself. Do not start your business out with saying the word discount. Because that tells me that you only have belief in yourself. Yeah, I went, yo, for a moment. I heard it. <laughs> but that's what happens. If you're like, hey, I'm starting a tutoring business. Oh, okay, right away, I'm going to give you a discount. Why? That clearly says that you don't believe in yourself. This is what I'm paying. This is what I'm charging. This is how long my um, sessions are. This is what's going to be handled. And this is what I'm bringing to the table. If you want, you can give them like a free small version, like a meet and greet, or some people do evaluations, whatever. So they can get a small taste of who you are. And I know this is going to sound weird, but you have to take some ideas from drug dealers. You got to give them a taste for them to want you to have more. Because I know for the people that don't choose me because of my price, I know every person, every tutor that they're going to be in contact with, they're going to remember me. Because like, oh, well, Miss Audrey did this and Miss Audrey did that. I leave an impression. So... Any business that you're going to do, you need to leave an impression. So that's basically it. For me, discounts only happens after I'm in the position that I can actually offer a true discount and a true service without devaluing myself. So if that all sounds great... <laughs> and you are a tutor or maybe even a teacher that's thinking about tutoring and you want to join a community, come join my Facebook group from the classroom to online tutoring. It's a virtual community. I try to give as much support as I can. Even if you're not sure if tutoring is, I can do a brainstorm session. I tried to do that once before. Some people say, oh my gosh, I was so excited to do it. And they bailed. But I'm more than willing to do that because I really want to see you win. It took me four years. My first year was terrible. I don't want your first year to ever look like my first year. I mean, I wasn't doing anything illegal or anything, but it was just like, it was tough and it didn't need to be that tough. So with that being said, we're also going to talk to another tutor. Okay, we have Ms. Darcy Zegler. Can't wait. And that's going to be a recording because 
it is the Thanksgiving holiday, so a lot of people are going to be doing some traveling, but I will be releasing it at 11 o'clock on Wednesday, Eastern Standard Time. Now, if you are continuing with the tutoring, and if you're not sure, but you want to build up, I'm going to have a 14-day kickstart, okay, about tutoring, and it's called Making That Teacher to Tutor Shift. So it's like all the foundational pieces that you need with the tutoring business. If you're thinking about tutoring and you don't know where to start, this is the place to go. So I will put the link down in either in my bio or in the comments so you can register to see if tutoring is the best thing for you. And last but not least, the holidays are coming up and I'm going to be offering the first annual Merry Mixed Extravaganza. So it's a collection of holiday traditions from around the world. A little bit from Philippines, a little bit from the United States. We have from England, we have Australia. And it's just like some fun activities to give to kids. It's going to be free. It's going to be the whole month of December. I'm going to think of it almost like an advent calendar, but it's not because I know some people are not built on the Christianity. Some people are Jewish and all this is a whole mixture of different religions and different traditions. And just really just want to try to build something up, give something fun for the kids to do. This will be great for parents. It'll be great for kids, obviously. It'll be great for teachers, even like homeschool teachers, traditional teachers, charter schools. You know, go ahead and pass it out. This will be like one great cool thing. Get the kids excited about the upcoming winter holidays and just to have a little fun. Just something that's going to be joining. So be on the lookout for that. That's going to be happening December the 1st when I'm going to be releasing it, but there will be some publications on it. So as always, thank you so much for joining in. I'm a little bit less than 20 minutes. Are you okay? I know. But if anything, I will definitely see you after Thanksgiving and please have a safe holiday. All right. Take care and don't forget to stay awesome.